What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power of Play with CJ. I want to focus in on the Flyers signing Ashane Gospier out of Union College, one of my favorite players in the NCAA this season, one of a really upper echelon, uh, up and coming young defenseman who had 34 points in 42 games and uh, you know won the national championship this past Sunday or Saturday night and had one of the great all-time games to get you know three or four points. It was a plus seven, and I know people again are going to discredit plus minus, but. I, it's pretty awesome, you know, the game he had, and I remember watching him play two years ago in the Frozen Four uh, for Union down here in Tampa, you know, making the return to the home state for, for uh, Gospier, uh Florida native from Maggie, Florida, down in the Fort Lauderdale, Miami area, and, uh, you know, he's really kind of come full circle. Um, you know, he's a really, really good offensive defense, and he's coming around, you know, in terms of the, the all-around game. Not the biggest guy, he's about six feet. But, um, you know, again, I thought he was going to sign right after the game and then play Sunday for the Flyers against Carolina. But this works out as well. Um, I, he's going to report to the Adirondack Phantoms. They're not making the playoffs this season. So he's going to go play for Team USA at the Worlds, which is a, which is a big deal. You know, going out there, playing against men, playing with a lot of guys, uh, namely Johnny Goudreau, who we just, you know, beat less than a week ago in the NCAA semifinals. Uh, Jacob Trouba, one of his teammates at the U.S. World Juniors. And I think, you know, Seth Jones, among a few others. Uh, you know, they all won the gold a few uh, about 18 months ago, so you know I think it's a good move. Philly made a really smart decision drafting this kid in 2012. He was undrafted in 2011. Second go around, the Flyers, no pun intended, took a flyer on him in the third round, and he's going to pay dividends down the line. Excuse me. And I think he's going to be a, a pretty good defenseman. I mean, I don't think he's going to be Nick Lidstrom, but I, I don't think he's going to be a scrub either. I think he's going to be an effective defenseman that plays in all situations. And right now, I'd say he's kind of the crown jewel of Philly's farm system. I mean, I know people are down on Samuel Moran. I like Robert Hag a lot personally. Um, and then you're looking at, you know, the Scott, uh, Scott Law and guys like that. I think Gosby has potentially better than them. And I, that's not a knock on them as players. I just I like what he brings to the table. I like his hockey IQ and the way he moves with the puck. And I think it's a good day for Flo- for hockey in Florida. Him and uh, fellow, uh, he's a Southern Florida guy, North Florida guy, uh, Brian Furlan, other ECAC player out of Cornell, just signed with the Bruins last week. So again, you know, hockey's developing all over the country, and, uh, you know, it's good to see kids from Florida, Texas, California, Arizona, uh, you know, making, you know, professional hockey, and uh, not just kids from Minnesota, Massachusetts, and, you know, New York and Michigan. You know, that that's just the way it is, and, uh, you know, it's pretty cool to see, uh, to see it happen in action and, you know, watch it kind of firsthand. But, um, again, I think he's one of the crown jewels of the Philadelphia Flyers farm system. He's only going to continue to get better as uh, as time goes on. He's got a very, very uh, intriguing upside, and he'll be a uh, high-end professional hockey player for a long time. Now, how high? Different question, but, you know, different, you know, that that depends on circumstances and a lot of other things. But I think he'll be a guy you're going to keep your eye on uh, going forward for a long time. Anyway, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ on Philly sign and Shane Gospier. Today I'm just talking about Philly sign and defenseman, it seems like. Obviously, you just locked up McDonald this morning. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.